If Ely Hall is the face of the university, then Old North is the heart. The Old North building was built in 1795. It is one of the oldest standing buildings on campus. It is currently home to the McCourt School of Public Policy. Old North has borne witness to the triumphs and tragedies of American history, plantation funded of state. The Civil War was something of a turning point for Georgetown. The conflict deeply scarred and almost closed the college, its enrollment dipping to only 17 at one point. I have decided that the Constitution gives me war powers. But no one knows just exactly what those powers are. Some even say they don't exist. I don't know. I decided I needed them to exist, to uphold my oath to protect the Constitution. Which I decided meant that I could take the rebel slaves from them as property confiscated in war. I use the law allowing for the seizure of property in war, knowing that it applies only to the property of governments and citizens of belligerent nations. But the South ain't a nation. That's why I can't negotiate with them. If I'm a respecter of states' laws, how can I legally free them with my proclamation? Unless I'm cancelling state laws. I felt the war demanded it. My oath demanded it. And that's why I like to get the 13th Amendment through the House. And on its way to ratification by the states. End of this month, now, as soon as I'm able. And I'd like you to stand by my side. As my cabinet's most always done. During the Civil War, Georgetown's enrollment dropped to an all-time low of 17 students. Many of Old North's rooms were converted to hospitals for soldiers. The New York Militia's 69th Regiment, the so-called Irish Regiment, took up quarters at the college, and Lincoln came to review the troops. Old North's porch has hosted 13 of the nation's presidents. General George Washington visited Old North after the Revolutionary War. He was the first president to speak from the porch. President Lincoln visited troops at the college during the Civil War. After Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant, Gerald Ford, Bill Clinton and Barack Obama have all given speeches on the steps of Old North. Fondly do we hope, fervently do we pray, that this mighty scorch of war might speedily pass away. Yet if God wills that it continue, until all the world piled by the bondsmen, 250 years of unrequited toil shall be sunk, and every drop of blood drawn by the lash shall be paid by another drawn with the sword, as was said 3,000 years ago, then we must still say, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. 
with malice towards none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right, let us strive to finish the war we're in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have won the battle, and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace for ourselves and all nations. Following the Civil War, a period of self-evaluation began at Georgetown. In the center of the debate was Reverend Patrick Healy. Healy set the institution on a course that would change it from a first-rate liberal arts college to a major university. History came full circle when Georgetown's oldest building see Old North Sea become home to its youngest school, the McCourt School of Public Policy. In preparation for its new role, the building underwent a massive and comprehensive restoration and renovation. If Healy Hall is the face of the university, then Old North is the heart.